do you believe it's possible for somebody to influence the decisions that you make? So. You do? Yeah. Do you think it would be possible for somebody to influence the decisions you make, even if they told you that that was exactly what they were going to try to do? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Good. Well, let's find out if you are the type that's susceptible. So from this point onwards, we're no longer Luke and Jack. We're okay. two arch rivals, enemies that have no affection for each other. You should treat me as though you hate me, because that's what I'm going to do to you. Because that's the way we're going to win the game. The game that we're going to play is blackjack. Very simple. The closest to 21 without going over wins. The game is unusual because it's not about the shuffle of the cards. In fact, the game is going to be entirely played based on the decisions that you will make. Because the difference in this game is that I have a major advantage. I'm going to look at the cards. That means that I will know what it is that I want you to do. So my job will be not to worry about the random fall of the cards, not to worry about fate, but instead to worry about your choices. So right now, one of these hands is a winner, one of them is a loser. It's up to you to decide whether or not the winning hand is on the left hand or the right hand. It's completely up to you, whichever one of them you would like. Now, I know that you're intelligent enough to have seen me clearly saying this is the winner and this is the loser, but would I really do that? Would I really tell you that the winning hand is over here and the losing hand is over here? But then again, the fact that I told you that I told you that could make all of this a triple bluff, hiding it in plain sight. So really, it's a 50-50 choice. Go with your gut, make your choice, make sure it's a free choice. Which one do you want? Which one is mine, which one is yours? You point to your hand. I'm gonna go with this one. This hand over yeah. here. And that was a free choice. Yeah. Even with all of that conversation, that felt like a free choice. Yeah, See, at this point in the game, what I want to do is beat you, but not so badly that you lose hope. I want to make sure that you still feel like there was a chance that you could have won. So this time, I made sure that you picked 6 plus 6, 12, while I had over here 13. So just beating you by one. Not, not beating you so badly that you would lose hope, but enough that you would stay in the game. We'll carry on playing, but this time I'll actually give you a little bit more control over the cards. I'll do that by giving you a very simple choice. I'll show you two of the cards that we're playing with, a four and a five. Which one of those would you like? Five. The five. A good solid choice there. The five is yours, the four is mine. You've gone for the higher value. And now we have two mystery cards. You do not know what these are, but I'm going to place them like this and tell you that adding one of these cards to your five will make you the winner. Just adding one of them. Might not be that one, but adding one of them will make you the winner. Which one would you like? Point to the card that you want. I'm going to trust you and go with that one. You're going to trust me? Yeah. That seems like a mistake. <laughs> so, since you are trusting, I'll return that kindness with another option. Would you like to swap any of these cards around? Right now you have a five and this card, I have a four and whatever this card might be. Would you like to change any of them? No, I'm gonna go with my gut. Even if I was to turn this one over and show you that it was a five, you would still stay in this position. This would be your hand, this would be mine. Because you can change anything you like. No. no You're gonna stay exactly Absolutely. where you are. So you already know my hand is five plus four. Mm -hmm. Again, I want to beat you, but not so badly that you lose hope. That's why I made sure that you got one less than me again. We'll keep playing. Um, this time, I'll actually make the situation a little bit more inside of your control. I will place three of these cards. Okay, this will be interesting. So now you can see almost all of the information in front of you. We have a three, a five, a five, and an unknown. So there's only one piece of information that you currently do not know. A three, a five, and a five. Begin by creating for you the hand that you would like. Which hand would you like? Um, I'll take the five. The five. And now would you like the three, the five, or the mystery, the face down card? Again, it's your choice. I'm gonna go with the five. That's a Safe. really good choice. 10, you went for the highest possible hand that you could have made from what you knew. Yeah. So I only have three and whatever this card is right now. Would you at this point like to change your hand for mine? You can swap the hands with me if you would like. You don't have to, but if you want to, if that feels like a good thing to do, if for once in your life you would like to win this game, maybe swapping is a good idea, but it's up to you. 
Do you know what? I'm going to take a risk. I haven't so far, so I'm going to take a risk. You're swap. going to swap the yeah. entire hand, so yeah. I get your 10. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> it's up to you. You can stay where you are right now, or you could swap back again. No, I'll stick with this. You're going to stick. Yeah. Okay, so I have, right now, 5 plus 5, which equals 10. Unfortunately, you only have 5. So, you've been doing quite well. i tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll actually make this final game incredibly simple. All four cards, face up. Which cards would you like? Uh, six and nine. Perfect, six and nine, so you get 15. And you leave me with only nine. Congratulations, you have won. Now, I think you'll agree, that felt like a hollow victory. There wasn't that much satisfaction there. So once we have given you the perfect start, you're already winning, we're going to add one single choice into the mix. A single choice into the mix. A single card. And all you will have to do is choose whether or not you would like this card to be added to your hand or be added to mine. That's all you need to choose. Is that card mine or yours? I'm going to give it to you. Perfect. So right now, this is the position you've ended in. Now to finish our game, I want to make sure that I beat you, but not so badly that you wouldn't come back to play again. And that's why I made sure that I beat you just by one. Seven plus three, well that's ten, plus that's six, well that's sixteen. It was completely my decision. It didn't really matter what cards I chose, I was pretty much setting myself up for failure. <laughs> But he always gave me the one I chose, or and let me, and I swapped, um, and every time I was put it up. It's magic. That's He's true. a wizard. <laughs> I'd lose a lot of money. <laughs>